the United House Handicap Gold Cup chase is next. It's a Grade 3 handicap. Put a lot of them out of the handicap during the top weight in a Group 1 horse. And it's the widow at the top for Joshua Sutherland. Brywood Lady Jim Murray. My place later days for James Shea. Little Rock Hood, Vinnie Gerard. Add insult to injury, Joshua Sutherland. Bring me luck. Graham Clutterbuck, Zara Cover. Darren Thompson, Intrigue, Shinari, David Robertson, Music World, David Hooley, New Year's Day, Martin Lindham, The Contract, Craig Beck, with Smell of Victory, Leon Van Rensburg, and Sizzling Tail for Paul Parsons. So, uh, even Leon's got one out of the handicap in this one. They're away and racing. And a short run to the first, which they're all safely over. And sorted themselves out. Well, like anybody's all that keen to leave, so to lead, so this could be a pretty tactical affair may turn into a sprint later on as they get over the second which they all got over they wanted two of them were pretty untidy and now the top weight the widow is in the lead oh, i'm really sure she wants to be now the inside zara cover has gone through it looks like that one is going to take it up as they take this ditch which they all got over paul parsons sizing tail is the current back marker but no more than 10 lengths off the leader short run to the fourth which again they all got over Safely, it's just about Zara cover from the widow with Little Rock Hood in between. Then there's about eight or nine of them in a line, probably just headed by Jim Murray's grey horse, Brywood Lady. Towards the back size in tail is still the early back marker, but there's a long way to go yet. A lot of jumping still to do. 20 to take in all in this one. We've already got over four of them. And Zara cover is on this longish run to the fifth. Over it they go, or safely over it again. And Zara cover the clear leader by length as they get into number six. Which again, they all took okay. Little Rock Hood has moved up alongside Zara cover. Only a short run of this ditch, which is number seven. All safely over that one. One or two jumped in a bit slowly. New Year's Day drop into the back of the main pack as they get over number eight. A uh, mistake there by David Hooley's Music World. And Paul Parsons' size in tail is the one that's out of shot. You can just see the shadow in the corner of the screen. There he is, and it's Zara Cover, who's in the lead by two lengths. Who Little Rock Hood in second, and then the Widow back in third. Add insult to injury is fourth. Then comes Intrigue Chenay. With on the inside, Bring Me Look, Brywood Lady, the grey closest to us between those. There it is. Um, my place later days. New Year's Day's making a bit of a forward move. I think the one that we missed was the contract who's in that little leading group. Well, the group that are behind the leader. Anyway, the leader is Zara Cover. And Zara Cover is clear at this point. This will be the last on the next circuit. And they're all safely over that one. And Zara Cover will lead them up past the stand. Past the winning post. And Little Rock Hood in second. The Widow third. And the Contract four. In comes Add Insult to Injury and Briarwood Lady with Intrigue Chanel and Bring Me Look Together. Tucked in behind them. Just out of sight almost. My place later days with on the rail New Year's Day. In Music World, Smell of Victory has dropped towards the back and size in tail has got a bit closer. So the pace will see not all that hot. As Zara Kua slowing it down in the lead. The contract is now a clear second. Little Rock Hood and the Widow share in third. The Grey Briarwood Lady is getting much closer in four, fifth. Four the fifth. In comes Intrigue Chenet as they get over the 11th. And they're all over that one okay, although New Year's Day was slow. And out jumped by Music World. And Zara Cover continuing to lead for Darren Thompson. The contract in second. This is fence number 12. Well, the lead is gone. He's gone that time. Zara Cover hit it hard and the jockey went out the side door. And that's left the contract in the lead. From Intrigue Chenet, who's pulled through into second. The Widow on the inside is third as they take this ditch. In comes Briarwood Lady and add insult to injury with My Place later days and Bring Me Luck. Little Rock Hood has just dropped back a little bit on the inside as they take the next. And he wouldn't rule anything out of this yet. Even size in tail is um, getting a little bit closer. He's now really joining the main pack. And inside the final mile, there are one or two of these coming really wide. Music World is losing quite a bit of ground on this turn. So to his Briarwood Lady, they've been pushed right out wide. Those two, 
Oh, so another one that's struggling and gone out wide is adding insult to injury. That one is now virtually last. But it's the contract who's in the lead. And they get over the 15th. From New Year's Day, who's now come through to take a share of second with Smell of Victory, who's probably got just that at this point. And Leon van Rensburg holds him out of a handicap, but it's their contract in the lead. Smell of Victory, this is the 17th. Over it they go. They're all over that one okay, and it's now just Smell of Victory on the outside of the contract. This is the third from home. The contract jumped that one much better and has gone back into the lead. Brianwood Lady around the outside is coming through into second. Smell of Victory is third. Then comes Bring Me Luck after that one. Sizing tail for Paul. Barton just creeping through as well. Then comes Little Rockwood. New Year's Day caught a bit flat footed on the turn. My place later. Today's next intrigue. Shanae is dropping out of it. Music World hasn't got going and adding insult to injury. Looks well beaten as they come down towards the second last then now. And Bright Old Ladies hit the front from Smell of Victory in second. Then comes the contract in third. Sizing Tower running a big race in fourth. Then Little Rock Hood just wanted to jump. And it's Briarwood Lady and Smell of Victory. These are two and three lengths clear of the contract back in third. It's Briarwood Lady giving away lots of weight coming down towards this final fence. Over it they go. Smell of Victory near which to us. It's just about in front. It's Smell of Victory from Briarwood Lady. It's just Smell of Victory. The weight's beginning to tell I think. And now Smell of Victory starts to pull away. Smell of Victory is going to take this one. Briarwood Lady he might just hang on for a second. Music World finishing really well on the outside. Will probably just pepper on the post. Also finishing really well there was sizing tail for Paul Parsons who sat quietly out of the back and has finished in the money in a grade three. But it's smell of victory. He'll give Leon Van Rensburg any extra chances, Bob. Letting him run from out of the handicap. But that one has taken that one pretty cosily in the end. Smell of victory or Leon Van Rensburg. Music World for David Hooley was second. Sizing tail for Paul Parsons. Well, I missed one out there. Let's do that again. Smell of Victory for Leon Van Rensburg was the winner. Music World for David Hooley was second. Briarwood Lady for Jim Murray was third. Sizing tail for Paul Parsons fourth. And the contract for Craig Beckwith was fifth. The only one of those first five that was in the, that were in the weights properly was Jim Murray's Briarwood Lady. Everything else out of the handicap.